Let your glory fall. Divine Glory Family Assembly Number 66, Local Rest Streets, Ileife, presents Glorious Family Life, a program aimed at reaching out to individual homes to bring about the glory and purpose of God in each family and help youths identify the will of God in marriage. May the Holy Spirit fill your hearts as you listen. Now your host, Bishop Ivy Oladimeji. Let your glory fall. Praise the Lord. Welcome viewers. We are still in the Lenten season and I hope you are fasting. I hope you are praying. If you are not fasting, make sure you are praying. It's a time to return back and remember Calvary. Remember all that Jesus went through at the cross for us. For some time now, we've been talking on the seven specific places where Jesus bled as he went through the cross for us. Let us pray. Father, hover over us. Pour out your blessings upon your people. Release light and understanding to your people as your word is being released and release salvation, release healing, release deliverance in Jesus' name. Today we want to look at how Jesus bled from his pierced feet. He went through a lot of agony. You know, he started bleeding at the Garden of Gethsemane when he prayed and was sweating blood. He bled when they placed a crown of thorns. They pierced the crown of thorns. They used a stick to hit it on his head. Yes, he bled when they scourged him. The scourging at the pillar, the whipping post. He bled internally. There is the physical bleeding and there is the internal bleeding. He bled internally. Yes, and we saw that he bled through his pierced hands. Today we are looking at how he bled through his pierced feet. In the book of Mark chapter 15 verse 24, it says they had crucified him they nailed his hands and feet to the cross. Psalm 22 verse 16 says, They pierced my hands and my feet. My hands and my feet. This signifies Jesus restoring our dominion that was lost through the fall. You see, when Adam committed sin, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they fell. They lost dominion to the devil. They, they lost everything, the authority over the earth. They lost it to the devil. And the Lord Jesus came to restore it back to us. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, the Bible said, The Lord said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over and over all the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. God gave us this dominion, but we lost it. We lost it. When, we, when Adam and Eve sinned, we lost it to the devil. So in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 8, it says, Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he has put all things in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now, we see not yet all things put under him. Everything is now under the feet of Christ. But you may not see it. Because it is only now for those that are in Christ. Dominion has been given us. And has been, given, and, and has been officially restored back to us. But now we don't see it as if it's under him. It has been restored by the blood of Jesus. It is up to us to pray it into our lives. It is there. The dominion, we have dominion over the earth, over every creeping thing, everything that God has made. Authority has been restored back to us. In fact, even more than, more than what we lost because we are no longer of this world. We are now seated together with Christ in heavenly places. So we now, through the death of Christ, we now gained even much more than what we lost. But it's only when you come into Christ. A lot of Christians live defeated lives because they don't understand that the pierced feet of Christ shows that dominion has been restored back to them. And so they live, they live, they still live frustrated lives. All you need to do as a child of God is to pray 
this blessing into your life. Setting your feet on something denotes placing your foot on upon that's taking claim over it. That's what Jesus did for us. We, we have to stake out our claim with faith and aggressive determination on everything that God has promised us. You prayerfully claim them back. Every, the Bible said, every place where the sole of your feet shall tread upon shall be yours. You speak it, you claim it. You claim it by the pierced feet of Christ. Every place the sole of your feet shall tread upon, God has given it to you. Yes, so you are the one to claim what the Lord has given to you. In the book of Psalm 91 verse 13, he said, We will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon we shall trample under feet. And Jesus said he has given us power and authority to tread upon serpents. Hallelujah. We have power and authority to tread upon serpents, to tread upon scorpions, to tread upon all the powers of the enemy. And he said nothing shall by any means hurt us. So we have that authority restored back to us. We tread upon the powers of darkness. Maybe you are going on your way and they have kept charms. The charms was not kept for you. It was kept for another person. As you step on it, you destroy it. You become a blessing wherever you go. You tread on all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now I want you to look at this. He said, the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. That is our place. When you are in Christ, the God of peace, you are, when you are in Christ, you are in peace. You are not in any mental stress or trauma or any problem. You are always at peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Every Christian that is in Christ is in peace. And the God of peace will bruise Satan under your feet. I want you to remember the curse. When the Lord placed a curse on the serpent, he told the serpent, he said, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. And her seed. You said, he is, he, God said that the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent and that the serpent will bruise the heel of the seed of the woman. Now, just look at all what Jesus went through. If all that Jesus went through at the cross the, beat, the the scourging, the nailing and everything, all this was just a bruise. God said the serpent will bruise the heel of the seed of the woman. Ah, then what will the bruising of the head of the devil be? Eh? If all that Jesus went through at the cross of Calvary, all the suffering, all the agony, all the pain and the trauma, all that he carried on him, and all this was ju is just what God summarized as the devil bruising his feet. Then, what will his bru our bruising of the devil's head be? It means total defeat. No child of God should ever be defeated by the devil. No, the blood of Jesus is there. The Bible says we overcome the devil by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. Yes, that is our very first weapon that we use to conquer him. No child of God should be under any captivity of the devil or any oppression. We, the devil is completely destroyed. He's completely defeated. Do you know what it means to bruise the head of the devil? It means his skull is broken. It means he's useless now. And if somebody is having bleeding, bleeding in the brain, maybe the skull is cracked. And that, that person is a vegetable now. That person is not, is not useful again. So the devil has been conquered at the cross of Calvary for everyone that is in Christ Jesus. In fact, the Bible says we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. The level of victory we have over the devil is more than, they call it more than conquerors. So I want to speak this strength and this grace upon every child of God under the sound of my voice. Yes, the authority has been restored back to you. So take up your place. Claim possession. Wherever you are, claim possession. Wherever you are, God has given it to you. He has given every of those places to you. It is yours. He said, wherever your soul, the soul of your priest shall trade upon, I give it to you. God has given, take dominion, take authority. Fight in the place of prayer 
Overcome the devil. Break curses in your life. Fight. Use the blood of Jesus to fight. No devil can stand the blood of Jesus. No witch or wizard can stand the blood of Jesus. Can you imagine a child of God running out of a compound just because he said a witch is in the house? No, it is the witch that will run out for you. All you need to do is plead the blood of Jesus. Just wake up and cry the blood of Jesus. And that is it. They are, they are shattered. They are, they are scattered. We overcome them by the blood of Jesus. Whatever you are passing through, are you being oppressed? Are some people treading on your rights? Apply the blood that was shed at the feet of Christ and receive your dominion. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Let your glory fall. Glorious Family Live has come to you from the Divine Glory Family Assembly, number 66, Local Red Street, Ilode, Ileife. We are sure you have been blessed. Tune to us again next week, same time, same station. For prayers, counseling, or to partner with us, call us on 080-6653-7143. 080-6653-7143. You can also reach us on facebook.com forward slash iborra.veronica or send us an email to ivfamlife at yahoo.co.uk Worship with us at number 66 Local Red Street, Ilode, Ileife Give your child quality education at Oladimeji International School and Oladimeji Preparatory School We stand out for excellence Remember always that Jesus Christ is Lord Let your glory fall